Hey there YouTube, this is a second frequently asked questions video. So, uh, first question would be, I don't want to spend a lot of money um, on in shops on hair care products. What kind of products should I use now that I've BC'd at five months post? This was one posted on my website. I would say that there's lots of good stuff in the beauty supply stores as well as your you know supermarkets and grocery stores so one invest in good cheap conditioners like the VO5s, herbal essences, the um, Tresemme, Tresemme Naturals, Suaves. Um, next invest in good leave-in conditioners or moisturizers um, uh, they can be quite cheap as well um, at one point I was loving the uh, the silicone type leave-ins, Wave Nouveau and S-Curl and things like that. My hair has decided it hates them now, but actually it's very moisturizing for most. So see what you like, the Carefree Curl and things like that. Those are good leave-ins and moisturizers. Next is um, to go for your sealing oil. So natural oils are let's be honest they're the best um, so you can either go for something that's already mixed in like more pomade like like the ORS carrot oils and things like that which has lots of other enriched things put in there or you can just go for a simple oil um, or a simple oils mix so there's like hot hot six oils a wonder eight oils those things they're all good mixes um, but simple oils jojoba oil is the closest in consistency to our natural sebum oil like substance our scalps and skin makes so that's pretty good um, coconut oil extra virgin I love and um, things like olive oil everyone like people swear by extra virgin olive oil and, and um, kind of other oils so rapeseed oil and um, you know the funny thing is sunflower oil a lot of cooking and vegetable oils are actually really good for hair and when you think about it if it's good enough for you to eat it should be pretty much good enough for you to um, use on your hair um, but they all have their extra you know extra bonuses like sunflower oil is a high source of ceramides which kind of form a protective layer around your hair um, and you know ceramides are in all these L'Oreal um, conditioners and things but here you are sunflower oil very cheap cooking oil that actually has loads of ceramides and is great for your hair um, next question is, uh, let's see, how do, I, how do I make my moisturizing sprays? Well, um, especially for braids and twists and kinky twists and things. Well, I'm very simple. I usually go for water and aloe vera juice. Um, I usually go for kind of one part aloe vera juice to kind of three to four parts water. Um, and other things I might mix in are honey. As, or glycerin as a humectant because that just draws in more moisture and keeps the moisture in your hair. Um, another thing I might mix in is Infusium 23. I just put a few squirts, um, so maybe uh, two tablespoons or something um, equivalent because that is an added boost of protein and that's kind of how I alternate my moisturizing sprays. But usually it's water and aloe vera juice, very moisturizing and um, to make the moisture last um, at night, I can baggy my braids or twists in a bun and that will keep the moisture in and then in the morning all I have to do is spray my edges and go and um, at the end of the day I re-moisturize again. And next is um, a lady who is two years post Big Chop and is now APL. She's still struggling with her edges and wants to keep braiding her hair. Um, it's not that the braids that she does are tight or that her braider is um, kind of manipulating it wrongly. It's just that her hair just tends to um, be very fragile. So I suggested that to continue with braids but TLC to the edges. So leave the edges out when you're going to braid them. So kind of just leave a little perimeter, I don't know, an inch or so out and you can like flat twist that or do small braids with them and just pin them away. But that way you can moisturize by spritzing, putting leave-ins, putting lots of oils in it, basically just pampering those edges whilst you're in braids and the rest of your hair is in braids. Because the rest of your hair seems to be able to kind of um, hold its own whilst the edges are breaking so you take care of them extra special care of them people sometimes find it with their nape as well sometimes i'll find that some hairs on my nape are a bit shorter and i just leave them out of twists and i let them 
grow a bit and I spray them more and pay more attention to them. Um, next question is, where did you get your Langtex t-shirt? Um, I got it from hairlista.com's shop. Um, I think it was about, I don't know, 17 or $18. dollars. Um, of course, I live in pounds, but you know, you can pay on your credit card and it will convert it across for you. But yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I don't know if I owned any other Lent check t-shirts. Ooh, tongue twisters. Um, but yeah, that's the one I have currently. And I'm going to try and do a Lent check. I've done a Lent check video, but I need to do a proper one or a picture or two so that I can compare where my hair is now to where it was in January 2011. Um, you mentioned Denman brushes uh, for detangling. There are so many of them. Um, which do you prefer for detangling? Well, when I was shopping for Denman's, I picked the D31 brush because it seemed to be the most widely spaced bristles. However, Denman's and my hair still did not get on. I ended up deciding to finger detangle, use Y2 combs, and tangle tees. The tangle tees are my hair get on better. I don't use the tangle teaser a lot. Um, when I feel like I need to, I don't know, um, properly, properly detangle, for instance, if I've had kinky twists in and in for like two, you know, a month here and then take it out, deep condition another month and take it out, then I may whip out my tangle teaser and gently detangle my hair in the next taking out bit after deep conditioning. Um, but yeah, I don't use it really often because I still do a lot of finger detangling. But as always, it's not just the tools you're using, it's how you use them. Um, it's using a conditioner with slip or a detangling product to help with the detangling process. Okay, I hope this was helpful. See you later.